I raise my hand because I want to make better food choices. I'm having feelings about eating meat and animals and that I want to know if I eat them, the bacon is the dead pig's feelings coming into my body. And the chickens and the cows. All of them. Most of what we've been talking about here today has been about connecting to that broader part of you and following the impulse. And we've been talking about bringing yourself back to who you really are. You're going to like this. So just stay with us during the progression of this conversation because it's going to be new and leading edge, in other words, and freeing. So just let your mind sort of follow this just a little bit. The other day, Esther was visiting with someone and Esther had made a new decision about something. And this person has been with her a long time and has heard all Esther's decisions about this subject through time, most of which have been the same consistent decision. And now Esther is offering a sort of departure from that decision. And so this person, very well-meaning, said, no, but what you've always said is this. And Esther said, I know, and I know that's hard for you to hear something different from me, but you must let my desires evolve. Mm -hmm. And then Esther explains, well, as different things happen and different priorities rise, as I'm finding more and more connection with source energy, now this feels like what I want to say about that, even though it varies from what I've said before. So we're talking about how life causes an evolution of the species all species are evolving as there is a combining of interactions and co-creation on the planet having said that you got that you understand the point that we're making you got to let yourself evolve you also were born into this environment with some powerful intentions and with an understanding of the environment and so some of you came as plant eaters you weren't one of them <laughs> now we're not talking about any humans some animals came they only eat meat some animals come they only eat plants some of you eat a little bit of all of it but what we're getting at is there's strong intentionality as you come in you got to remember that the cells of your body are taking their direction directly from source the cells of your body don't have to segment and tend to know what source is telling them about this and that. And sometimes your cells are asking for this, which is available there. And sometimes your cells are asking for this, which is available there. If you were really in alignment with who you are, you would be inspired to a whole lot of behavior on the behalf of your evolving apparatus. But most humans are like Esther's friend who didn't want to have to evolve with Esther's evolution of thought let's just make a policy let's just decide what humans should eat you see how that's working out as you gather together in groups and argue with each other about what you're going to eat Esther's afraid to invite anybody over for dinner <laughs> and don't invite two there's such variety in what people are eating that it makes Esther afraid she can hardly pick a restaurant because there's so much diversity in what people want to eat when the way that it really is is that every single person has the ability to connect with source and find in the immediate vicinity something that would satisfy who they are and what they now want so we wouldn't use our head too much in trying to figure out what's appropriate or what's inappropriate we would decide that we're going to follow inspiration and we know you have different intentions sometimes your intention is all about body weight sometimes your intention is about vitality sometimes your intention is about getting something that's out of balance back into balance and sometimes you don't know what the heck you're doing we're surprised any of you can find anything to eat because everyone has written a book about what's wrong with every single thing that you might be inclined to want to eat and the more worried about it you are the more of those books will come to you that say don't eat that until pretty soon you're looking into the grocery store in a state of such confusion you have no idea what you want to eat but the cells of your body do the cells of your body would like you to eat some of all of it rather than none of any of it when you think about it isn't that a pretty good way to look at it my cells want something I can't stand here in paralyzation forever 
and you don't want to let what comes to you come from your place of worry process of elimination can't eat that and 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 can't eat that, and can't eat that. so what's left <laughs> nothing I want but in a state of deprivation I will force myself to eat this thing that I do not want thus defying the pleasure thing that we were talking about here we're not asking you to be gluttons and we're not asking you to be unwise we're asking you to get tuned in and then choose we're asking you not to try to make a plan unless you're really under alignment and you know a lot of times when you're feeling great those cravings that come to you are direct translations of what the cells of your body would benefit from most there are a lot of answers in a lot of food people are worried about processed food and we think simpler food all around would be better for you but there is evolution that has happened your bodies are changing and your cells are intelligent and they know and a person tuned in to source energy will find what will satisfy you and this is the thing that trips you all up is it hard for you to hear that if it feels satisfying to you it's a good idea think about it most of you say oh I really really want that but I shouldn't I shouldn't I should not please myself where does that come from that comes from others who preferred that you please them and they will accuse you of selfishness you're so selfish and isn't that weird coming out of their mouth you're so selfish and what they mean is you're so selfish because you won't supply my selfishness you won't do what I need you to do and you kind of want to say I don't really get this so what you're saying is I should not satisfy my selfishness instead I should do what you want me to do isn't that sort of selfishness they won't hear it that way so did we get where you need to be yes and I, and, and I think that there's a tie to emotions and family with my food choices too so when I'm alone I I try to I, I oh maybe how do I get but rid of that blah blah oh blah blah <laughs> maybe we started there today there's a tie to everything because you have expectations of course there's a tie of course there's a tie in other words you're all wadded up in so many things you got to clear the space by not trying to keep up with all of it really it would drive you crazy hang around with a hundred people and go on a trip for a week with a hundred people and then try to decide what you should eat or set your intention so let's say that you're going someplace where you're gonna get food Esther teases her grandchildren she said you know the other day I found this remarkable place and they said what was it mister said well it was a big building I think it was square it was huge and when I walked in there were rows and rows and rows of food items that had to be assembled and Luke said a grocery store and Esther said yeah who knew she prefers to go to the restaurant where somebody else assembles it and it was really confusing to be in there and of course she's teasing but she was making the point that we're wanting to make here that there are lots of choices and if you were going to a restaurant or into a place where you're going to buy food that has to be assembled <laughs> you might want to set forth some intentions and you might want to start by saying I love my body I'd love the intelligence of my body I acknowledge the existence of the intelligent cells in my body and I get what they do all day every day in the maintaining of me and isn't it great isn't it great what's going on and I believe that my cells have preferences and that in combination with each other that they are sending me unique impulses and it's my intention to just follow those impulses and so you're going into this place with anticipation and appreciation not just of the excellence of the opportunity of the food that is around you oh my 
you ever think about that that distribution system and the organization of all of that isn't that something to acknowledge and appreciate even when you get in there you can see people still placing things on shelves and getting the fresh things out and labeling it and marketing it and marking it with the prices and making it ready for you there's so much to appreciate about all of that process then there's your own physicality and what you want and your own impulses to eat and even the fact that you're hungry you have that hunger in your belly means that the cells are sending you a signal that they're asking for something you see and so as you walk into this place with an attitude of appreciation that will go a long way think of all those sticks you picked up appreciation for commerce appreciation for trucking system appreciation for frigidation appreciation for all of these things things that are so easy to appreciate think what you're queuing yourself up to and now you're in vibrational alignment with your inner being who's in communication with your cells and your cells know precisely what they want and are offering a vibrational request for it which your inner being is translating into an impulse within you where what's happening in this environment can satisfy those impulses directly from your cells that are requesting them and then you want to read a book that says what to eat or what not to eat when you have this kind of intelligent in the moment communication right now